today on The Real. It's all about the look. <laughs> and Taj Mori makes girl chat look good. And the award goes to me. Lonnie's back from the American Music Awards. And she's got all the gossip. Yeah. What was your second choice? The Real. Today. We love you so much, Tay Tay. Please, please get well, and we will see you soon. Now, I have to say, we've had some amazing co hosts recently, but whoo, I am super excited about who's with us today. He's an actor, a singer, but more importantly, you guys, he is my amazing brother, Taj Mahal. You, if you try not, not embarrass let's me. Let's be honest. Okay, not yeah, this happen. is a real. Okay, fine. I'm really glad to be here, though. Are this you? Is so you dope. Are I love you guys. You know really? I love you guys. So we I'm love really, you. I'm really happy I get to like just. No, you don't up. understand. The last few days, she's like, and you know my brother comes, right? You know, she's my like, brother's coming knows. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. My yes, brother's yes, gonna yes, be yes, here yes, tomorrow. Excited. You guys, the inside jokes that take place between these two. The cutest thing. All they do is just giggle and whisper and poke at each other. It's like adorable. He's my boo boo. He's my ding ding ding. See, embarrassed already. Number one. Already you just got a point. Already. He said you embarrassed him. <laughs> Sorry, Taj. It's okay. okay. So, how does it feel to finally join us here at the girl chat table? Honestly, it's amazing. I TiVo you guys at home. Yes, he I does. Watch. Yeah. I really do. I really do. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I've had the pleasure of being on the show as a guest before, yes, sitting yes. on the couch. So now it's cool to be here in a completely different way. Hey. I get to I get to <laughs> chat with y'all. So I'm yeah. so proud Right here. Yeah. I can tell. Oh my goodness. I you don't want to cry. But... It's the holiday season. I understand that you have a new holiday single out. Tell I us do, about I it. I do, I do, yes. Um, and I you love... wouldn't let me sing on I'm it. Gonna... No, next year. She asked me after I recorded it. Let's be <laughs> I real. Did, I did. Okay. I did. So, but no, I do have a, a holiday single. Christmas is my favorite holiday. And Ooh, uh, yeah, our family too, yeah. actually. We really, we really do love Christmas. And so I thought it would be cool to write an original Christmas song, and it's called Underneath the Mistletoe. And uh, it's available on iTunes, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you look iTunes yeah, Google you. Play, <laughs> you know, title, all that. So that please sounds go real download sexy. that. It is a sexy Christmas song. I put a little Adrian. different spin on a Christmas so, song. Sorry. Adrian. <laughs> In the velvet? In the velvet? Just saying, though, Tamara, there kidding. are women out there who find Taj. I know! <laughs> It's weird. He's my Thank little you. brother. Okay, not only that, Taj, but I heard that you're doing a concert coming up in LA for yeah. a very special cause. Yeah, I am. I'm doing something really amazing called Rock the Red Kettle with the Salvation Army. Oh. And um, I'm, yeah, it's really yeah. cool. So, um, it's, and it's free, which is the best part. You can come yeah. out and just watch me. Um, Becky G is headlining. Love um, her. Jacob Whitesides is gonna be cool. there. So I think there's six artists in total, and I'm one of the six artists. So yeah, come out. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Todd, so I'm so glad you're here, and I know you're gonna keep it 100 I'm at I'm gonna keep table. it 100, yes, 100. Yes, yes. But you do have some, some big shoes to fill, <laughs> and you have to do the family proud. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, in that case, get excited, because today is Girl Chat Wheel Day! Love that! You at home sent in topics you want us to talk about. Yep, 16 of those topics are up on our wheel, and we have the corresponding cards on the table with the topic to talk about. And remember, we do not know what you're going to ask us. Oh, God. So, 
Let's get oh, right God. into it. I need someone in our audience to come on down and help us spin this wheel. Oh. Who is Bowl, and when I call your name, come on down. Taj, why don't you do the honor? All right, all right, all right. Third up, third up, third up, third up, third up. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah, let me get some. Let me get some. Ready? Oh, yeah. wow. They're wild today. Y'all ready? Yeah. Miss Natalie Swift, come on down. Where are you at? I'm from La Punta, California, and I'm so excited to be here tonight. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, oh so God. who's ready for the first topic? I know I am. Natalie, spin that girl chat wheel. Okay, let's see. That is okay. lucky number 12. Okay, oh, it's right, right by me. Okay. All right, so let's see. So, Elizabeth Brown from Columbia, South Carolina, who watches us on Watch Fox, sent in this topic on Twitter. She asks, how do I make myself look more available without looking desperate? Hmm, that's a good question. Taj, from a guy's point of view, yes. this is so weird asking you this. <laughs> what advice would you give her? Honestly, first of all, it is all about confidence, yes. I'd say. And as long as you have confidence, yes. Yeah. I feel like as long as you have confidence and you carry yourself with confidence, that is sexy in itself and people will sort of understand that you're available yeah. and maybe, you know, They'll feel a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little and, bit. you know, there's a fine line between sexy and classy uh -huh. and, and, sl and slutty. Yes, you, know you can say, so this just, is the real. Just, you know, maybe just find a nice little balance, be okay. comfortable, show your curves so Don't you show some. six inches of cleavage, show like two inches show, of Maybe cleavage. show the shape of your body, you know, some, you know, just to leave the some... The silhouette. Uh, the silhouette. Uh -huh. yes. Let like people know you're confident. How much cleavage you like, Todd? There you go. We, we, <laughs> you are not going to have this Why conversation. Why are you looking? She's talking about... She said it. Look at Lonnie right now, though. Lonnie. Lonnie. The zip up. Lonnie. I got a zipper, too. Lonnie. He's a grown man, honey. He's a grown man. I'm not going to do you want? Do you want me to switch seats? No, I'm sitting next to you. No. Okay. But, okay. Taj, I agree with you. And you I know what think I'm for women, like, mm -hmm. sometimes if you wear certain colors, like, I think, like, mm -hmm. oxblood and maroon and dark romantic colors work. Like, oxblood, like, kind of like a little bit of a Oh, like of a your dark red. Dark reds oh. are sexy. But I agree with you with confidence. I think. Yeah. On top of confidence, body language completely oh, gives off that's, oh, that's you're you. available that. or if you're taken. That's I good. literally think body language is the Facebook status to your look. Okay, because like, okay, like we just gonna pretend, okay? Okay. You, we're at the bar, right? Oh lord, I'm <laughs> just gonna sit look. back. Then. I want no, you no, to no. give a look. You to give I'm a look. I'm gonna give a look. Okay. okay. So let's do single. single. I say we're gonna we're gonna give a look that's single, one that's in a relationship. And one that it's complicated. Okay. okay. Oh, all right. It's complicated. Okay. What am I? Do I it's would complicated? Say, no, no, I think you're single. You're single. single. Give him a look. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's start with you. Why don't you no, go? Give okay, okay. Look. Uh, give a single look. A single look. Oh, I'm God. Like, but in real life, it's complicated. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Give a look. Okay, wait. Give it to time. Come on. Think um, like you walk. You know this, Adrian. You do this all the time. When ooh, you walk into I already a room. see it. Oh. Wait, I didn't even get there yet, girl. I see it in your eyes. She's got it. She's got it. I would just. I think there's a certain way you can look at a man that lets him know if you lock eyes. Like, I think when I don't want to be bothered, I intentionally do not make eye contact. I'm yeah. like, yeah. So give him the look. Oh. oh, yeah. oh. She's not done. She's not done. Never hurt either. Okay. Oh, never hurt yeah. nobody, married right? look. Give him the married look, like, Jeannie. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Married look is easy. Whoever it is that you're with when you come in married, you just don't even really notice yeah. anything. You just yeah. kind of walk in and you're like, I'm I'm the man. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> That's married. So you just married don't is like notice. you don't even notice anything else going okay. on in the room. Tunnel vision. Okay. Yeah. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. It's complicated. It's complicated. Is it down first and then back up? Sorry. I mean, you can have a 
little bit. <laughs> just a little. No, you can't. Am I gonna be really corny? I think <laughs> just a smile is nice. That, I started out with No, but that's right, what Adrian right? was doing. She was just did the sexy but, yeah, smile. Right? No. But, the but it has smile. to be a certain it's type be a of certain, smile. Because if you, it's just like, you know, that's just like, okay, whatever. But okay. it has to be like the Adrian smile. Yeah, the Adrian smile. Oh! See, 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 see that? <laughs> you got you yeah. The key to it yeah. is just make it last longer. Okay, it time for a new topic. Time for a new topic. All right. Natalie, please spin the wheel. Hey. <laughs> All righty, let's see. Okay, this topic was sent in on Instagram from Melanie Pope. Hi, Melanie. She's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, who watches us on Fox 6. She asks, ooh, if your friend smells, <laughs> uh... <laughs> would you tell them or just let it fly? I would tell. <laughs> tell. <laughs> tell. Okay. If you Jeez. are a good friend, if you, you will would, tell yeah. your friend <laughs> that they smell. Yes. Because there, you are not a good friend if you just go with the flow and just you chilling but with them. Like, and then the worst is if you, doing, you and the worst is if you're with that friend who smells and you guys go hang out with other friends, then those other friends <laughs> yeah. are gonna think you smell. You smell. You a part of it. You're a part of it. You don't want to be a part of it. That happens to me. You what? You guys, what that happens to me. <laughs> I had a friend who, who I thought sometimes was a little bit, oh, you know, okay. like <laughs> a little bit sometimes. It'll burn your nose hairs. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but I thought that that was just like an occasional thing, right? So whatever. Okay. I had pulled a dress <laughs> okay. uh, from, uh, from like a store. Like okay. we get to pull dresses if you're going to an event. Okay. And I had to return the dress though because it was just pulled. It wasn't oh, bought. Oh no. And she asked to borrow the dress no, and no, I no. let her borrow the dress. Okay. And uh, I actually told her if she could just drop it off at where it needed to be returned to. No. And they called me and said, we're gonna need you to pay for the dress because it, it, it <laughs> And so I was stuck with a bill That's for this bad. dress that I d was not about to and pay for. And a reputation. And a reputation that it smelled like really bad and that's why they wouldn't take the dress back from me. So, so did you tell So the great her? thing is it opened a conversation okay. because I pr it didn't leave it on me to be like, Girl, I said you smell. No, the store said you smell. Oh, right, that's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. And then she paid for it. Okay. And I was like, no, I'm like, girl, sometimes we gotta switch our deodorants because our bodies become, you know, top on it. I tried to make it like, <laughs> it could happen to any of us, but sometimes you gotta be a little bit more. That oh, helps. No. Like sometimes when you if you own poke it with them, fun at yourself, yes. like girl, sometimes I be funky like that too. I had to change my deodorant. <laughs> true, true, true. Because you know you gotta switch it up. Oh, that, oh, has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had to tell somebody? It has happened to me. I actually worked with her. She was my oh. best friend from high school. Oh, um, you had so a smelly best friend. I oh my gosh, I did, but I don't smell. I promise. So basically, what <laughs> I just did was we I invited her over for a girls' night, and we kind of just sat down and talked about it. And by the time we had a little bit of wine, it was it was fine. It wasn't a big issue. Yeah. There yeah. You go. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's a way to tell a friend I think also. So too. Okay. There's a way to say tips too. Like, girl, how do you stay fresh? You stay fresh like that? How do you stay fresh? Listen up. How do you stay fresh? <laughs> and I, I, I do have a question now. Straight. I, uh, you, you smell, okay? Look, we no! I'm gonna get some salt. Uh, but wait. I'm gonna get some deodorant. And cause <laughs> I don't I want you to get a man, girl. So no, I tell him straight. Miss Jean, I have a question. Because you guys are my friends and I do need some advice. Yes. What if they're not really your friend? What if you don't, what if you don't really you don't know them? them. You don't have that relationship. If it's a breath situation, yes, what okay. I like to do is, you know, you always keep a, give keep us a, nice a piece little, of gum. And, and if you don't know if your breath smells, just always take a mint. Whenever you see one, just pop you know, it up, you just go, take it. You go, you take out that mint, you go, you want one? Yeah, you go, you, you offer it to someone. And I'm sorry, and they, but the face, you guys, the key is, have you ever offered it to someone and, and then they, they didn't no. take it? <laughs> and like, that is the worst. Yeah, what do you do then? That's when let it go. Or I, some people, I'm sorry, me. I would say, no girl, trust me, go. Oh, okay. but you guys, there's some people where a breath mint, is really not the case. It's not the it case. It comes from the depth Ooh, <laughs> of the halinosis. Taylor calls that the dragon. The She's like, girl, that person over there got the dragon. <laughs> All right, Natalie, let's get another topic. Spin on that wheel. Here 
Here we go. Okay. Okay. This topic was sent in by Kiara on Instagram who asks, if you guys had a movie about yourself, who would you want to play you, dead or alive? Ooh. Tamera. Oh, me. Who would you oh, want me. to tell your story? Um, I don't know if you guys watch Game of Thrones, but there is a character called Miss Sande, and she is Khaleesi's sidekick. Oh, yes. Her name Beautiful. is Natalie Emmanuel. Yo, she, she is... loves Game of Thrones, man. I know. Oh, okay, we know this. Oh, yes. Talk about it all day. She's gorgeous. Yes. Yes. And she's, I, I just love her. I have a girl crush on her. We follow each other on Twitter and Instagram, and we talk Definitely. to each other. Aww. Yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan, so she would be perfect. I love you, Natalie. I love Aww. you. <laughs> My biography would be a two-part series, and I would like, <laughs> for my toddler years, the I'd love OG. it to be Lily from Modern Family. Oh! So cute! <laughs> yes! She's so perfect! Oh, that's my goddaughter! That's your goddaughter! No way! In yes. Hawaii! Yes, yes, that is! Oh, well, you don't know that! Yeah. Will you please hire her for my part? Definitely. <laughs> okay, thank you. You got it. Yes. And then for my 20s, my 30s, I would like Brenda Song. You're hired. Yes. Yes. <laughs> To hear about my legacy Brenda. and how wonderful I am in my elder years, Miss Connie Chung, please come aboard. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? Yeah. That is amazing. Adrian. Uh, so technically, I'm just putting it out there, if they ever do a J-Lo movie. <laughs> J-Lo, can you please have me play you? For real, though. Like, yeah. I would, like, yeah. die to play Jennifer Lopez in a biopic. I legit would love that. And then, then, then I'd want her to play me too. But <laughs> honestly, I know this sounds so crazy and it's not as like fancy schmancy, but if I, I really did have a biopic, I'd want to find like new talent, a girl legit from the Lower East so. Side of Manhattan, Ooh, who's a Latina mm -hmm. who like really would talk like me. That's like it. an unknown. Yeah. And let her pop off from being me. Yeah. Pop off. <laughs> pop off. Yeah, <laughs> she can start her career, you guys. Oh man, He's, I know we're not the same age. But I feel like I gotta go with my dude, Will Smith, Fresh Prince, you know what I'm saying? Back oh! in the day. Fresh Prince, like, you know? <laughs> Just. <laughs> I see it. That's a good thank one. You, thank you. I think, <laughs> sense of humor. Let me see. I would want to play Rick Ross. That's who I want to play. Me. Are you yeah. crazy? I'm not being funny. Do you know no. who I think could play a really pretty, like a dope young you? Who? Like a Kiki Palmer. Yeah, yeah. he would be good. Yeah. And Rick yeah. could be the older one, so. Yeah. I'm done, That's, I'm I done with it. you. Natalie, do you have somebody you would think? I could pick somebody, I would pick Tamara, only because I feel oh like I'm really nice and sweet, and I, I think that reminds me of a lot of you, so I'd want oh, you to play like me. Thank you. Why are you doing that now? Man, Todd, 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 Todd. The flow turn around. I Hold am up. nice and sweet. No, what are you no, talking wait, about? We only do it to get this reaction, though. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. We find the truth out about Tamara from Taj. <laughs> it's time to play the game where your pop culture knowledge could earn you cold, hard cash. A mega amount of cold, hard cash, that is. You know why? Because we're about to play Mega Trivial Purse Loot. <laughs> how the game is played. All right, Aid, one lucky audience member will have 30 seconds to correctly answer as many rapid fire pop culture questions as she can, or he. Each correct answer will earn her or him a chance to loot one of these purses. Each purse contains either money or something completely random that we found in Lonnie's purse. <laughs> and whenever our contestant picks the money, someone in our audience will win it too. Yes. Mega! All right, you guys, all we need is our contestants. So, Regine Champagne. All right, that was an amazing dance you just did coming on down here. So, where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a 
great place because a lot of these, you know, they're, they're pop culture questions. Right. How is your pop culture knowledge? I know everything. I got this. Okay. <laughs> that, my friends, is confidence. Now remember, each correct answer earns you a chance to loot one of these bags. So the clock won't start until I finish the first question. Okay? Okay, got this. Ready to put the 30 seconds up? Yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Pop star Rihanna was born on which island? Barbados or Dominican Republic? Barbados. Which Kardashian has a daughter named North? Kim. Ronda Rousey was previously the undefeated female world champion in which sport? MFA. Uh, which go. current Republican candidate once starred in its own reality competition show? Pass. Gwen Stefani is rumored to be dating which judge from The Voice? Um, Blake. Yep. Which of the host's mother... Oh, the time's up. Oh. Oh. You did good. Oh, you did good. Well, according to the judges, you answered three questions correctly. <laughs> so that, my friend, is giving you three purses to loot. Okay. Now remember, whatever is in there is yours to keep. And, audience, if we find your seat number in the purse, you win whatever money, Ray Jean wins too. <laughs> so if she wins, you win if your number is in that bag. Ray Jean, it's time to loot. With the help of my lovely <laughs> She's picking number seven. Seven? seven? Yeah. yeah All right, that's her first pick. Okay. Oh. Okay. You can two more. You have two more you can pick. Uh, number two. Two. Number two. Bag number two. All right, one you've more. got one more. <laughs> okay. Number 12. Number 12. All right, Reggie. Woo! Are you ready? Yes. All right, because it is time to loot, girl. Okay. Now, with the help of my lovely co-host over there, let's see what's inside each purse. Okay. Tamara, what do we have going on in bag number two? Oh. Whoa. 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 Oh, yeah, she gets to keep it. <laughs> Lonnie, we're oh, giving it to her. Oh, okay. Here you go. Let me give it to her. <laughs> Lonnie, what is in bag so, number yeah. 12? Bag that you chose to loot is number seven, closest to Tamara. Seven. seven. So Tamara, let me see, let me see. Yep, um, there it is. parties and family gatherings at every turn. It can get complicated if you're single and going at it alone. So whether you're fresh out of a relationship or simply a satisfied single like myself, there's no need to dread this time of the year. <laughs> you're about to have a singularly great holiday season if you follow the Single Girl's Guide to the Holiday. Yes! Yep, yep. Okay, so we have Natalie here with us today because... Hi, Natalie! Natalie is single, 
right? And I'm sure she could use some holiday tips. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Oh, right here in LA. There you go. And Natalie, how, how long have you been single? It's been about six months now. Six months. Okay. Yeah. Six months. Okay, okay. All right, well, since you're single, we are going to walk you through some different holiday scenarios that you could maybe get thrown into. All right? Okay. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> Yes, Miss Lonnie scenario. Love. Okay, well, just before the holiday break, your job usually throws the annual company holiday party. As you're walking up, you notice that everyone has a plus one in tow, and you RSVP'd as plus none. <laughs> what do you do? Hello, you hang out by the food to meet people. <laughs> everyone has to get food at some point, right? Yeah. That way always find someone to talk to and you're not left alone scrolling through social media in the corner trying to look busy. So cheers to that. That's a great tip. Could have put real alcohol. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that is a good tip. <laughs> Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you just want to steer clear of everybody during the holidays, here's a suggestion. Why wait until you're attached to take the trip of your dreams, right? Take a trip by yourself. It's empowering. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Okay. But when you do, here are some travel tips for you. First, wear a purse that goes across your shoulders so it can't be snatched easily. Like that, you know what I mean? Because people sometimes try to take your purse, but you're secured here. Then consider wearing a fake wedding ring to avoid unwanted male attention. Oh. Sometimes you just want to enjoy yourself. <laughs> right finger? Yes, that's the right finger. Boom. And then look confident no matter where you are by wearing sunnies. Because if you look lost, you're gonna look vulnerable. Right. Sunglasses can hide your concern and confusion and have you looking fashion forward Sweat. right away. <laughs> good. Can we yes. get okay. some really good traveling tips. You're welcome, Jamie. guys. Thank you. Enjoy okay, your guys. travels. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Oh, sure, you're gonna take the ring. Katie, would you like some more? Come on over Thank here, girl. girl. Okay, much more. What you got? <laughs> All right, now, if you've got nosy family members, then you hate having to answer questions like, when are you getting married? When are you having children? Are you even dating? It can get really awkward, right guys? Not to mention annoying as heck. <laughs> so here's how you can answer them all at one time. Just make a single announcement. <laughs> hi, hi, listen up. <laughs> <laughs> really? Guys, so check it out. I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the holidays. Hey, well, hey, honey. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to answer your questions really quickly. No, I am not getting married. No, I do not have a boyfriend. And no, I am not going to let my eggs dry up before I find a man. So thank you so much. Our next has one of the most distinguished voices in the business, known for his iconic role on Seinfeld as Elaine's cheerfully clueless boss, Jay Peterman. <laughs> now, he's the human face of the National Dog Show. Everyone, please welcome John O'Hurley. <laughs> so excited about it. What did you bring me? I am uh, be, always beware of a Greek bearing gifts here. We have some special things here. Remember, it's Christmas time, so you're not, your home is not complete without the J. Peterman <laughs> collectible action figure. I need that. I'm obsessed with Seinfeld. Look at that carefully. Literally, it's crazy if, if you look, to hear if your you voice right now. If you look carefully right there, look at my, it looks like I have swallowed Marty Feldman whole, <laughs> and he's trying to escape through my eyeballs right there. <laughs> Oh my, yes. The Jay Peterman, the Jay Peterman doll oh, is finally gone. Love it. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I know this is special for you. Now, this is one of the great things that I have found. These are called whiskey sticks. What? You love, you I love, love whiskey. your brown liquor. Yes, I, I understand. Do, so, I saw you. So, here we go. 
This is, I don't care how cheap the whiskey you bought was, if you drop one of these into the whiskey, let it sit overnight, you have the taste of a 12-year-old whiskey. Over Wait, what? Really? How is that possible? It is because this is made out of white American oak. It is seared on the inside. It does the exact thing that the keg, the case, or the, uh, oh, the cask does that they put it in. Like it ages snow? your whiskey no overnight. No way! No matter, it's all whiskey elements. Go to whiskeyelements.com. You have it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That is Thank one of the most interesting you so things much. I've found that's pretty all year long. That's wow, that's you know cool. what? We just love you. We have been loving you for years. Now, was Jay Peterman an actual company before Seinfeld? It was uh, doing quite well as an actual company, but the, cat the writers loved the catalog. It's the most iconic catalog there is. It's these long adventure stories about a, an Oxville, there it is. It's these long adventure stories, kind of Hemingway style, written uh -huh. about an Oxford button-down T-shirt, you know? It's, uh, it's, uh, oh. So there was, you know, it was very, very strangely written. So they said, wouldn't it be funny if Elaine worked for this character, Jay Peterman? They did it without permission. <gasps> they just did it. What? That's the way Seinfeld worked, apologize afterwards and don't ask permission up front. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that. Yep. That's, that's, I like that. That. that's Jeannie's motto. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. Now, <laughs> this is, this is your, gonna be your 14th year hosting the mm -hmm. National Dog Show, yep. which is crazy. That's amazing. <laughs> And uh, you're also a proud dog owner I as well. I am indeed, yes. You know, it's funny. When they first called 14 years ago. Oh, those are. Yeah, oh, so My two little cute. girls. That's uh, my two little girls, Lucy and Sadie Mae there. A Cavalier oh, King Charles and a, a little Havanese. But 14 years later, we are uh, a family tradition now on Thanksgiving Day. It's just one of the most remarkable, successful pieces of television programming. And I'm really proud That's to see awesome. that it's fun. It is yeah. my thing. Now, yeah. I got a question for you. If you're... Two adorably cute dogs were in, you know, in the show. How do you think they would? How do you think they do? <laughs> would well, one do now, better one than the, the other? Dogs, right. <laughs> one of the dogs. Have you, there they are. Now the, uh, on the left there, that's Sadie Mae. That's a Cavalier King Charles. One okay. of the prettiest Cavaliers there is, except she has a touch of an overbite. So apparently we're not allowed to show her. But oh. she is crazy as a bed bug. That's if you brought her out on the show and you know they put them up on the, the right. table yeah. for the judge, she would sit there and go. Whoop! <laughs> oh. Oh, she is crazy as a yeah. bed If you leave the door open, she will be in Canada in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, not show material. Not uh, show material at all. Speaking of running to Canada, running in general, you also have a long-running Broadway career, and now you're taking your talents to the Pasadena Playhouse yes. here in L.A. <laughs> as Captain Hook in Peter Pan. I'll be, uh, I have a wonderful opportunity, yes. Over the holiday season, I'll be here at the Pasadena playing a, a very interesting, very funny version of Peter Pan. I will be playing Captain Hook. Oh, uh, wow. Just, uh, awesome. That is so uh, awesome. As crazy as I'm also have my long running tour of Chicago, the musical, the Broadway yeah, show, which will yeah. be starting Excellent, back man. on, uh, I'll be back in, uh, on tour with that in February. And I just had lunch. Spoke with Eric Idle today of Spamalot fame. Oh, we are yeah. resurrecting the tour of Spamalot for Broadway again. Wow! wow. Oh, oh, you. Yeah. you are oh, so awesome. Just just love love it. It. That's Thank brand you. news. Nobody knows that. Oh, oh, See, <laughs> exclusive. Yes. Exclusive. Right here on The Real. John, thank you so much for being Great with us time. today. Great time. Now, while the rest of us were kicking back, eating wings, and watching football, our tireless, hardworking Lonnie Love was on assignment. She was out there keeping it real on the red carpet for the American Music Awards. Yeah. Yeah. Holding it down. Yeah. Well, she's back in one piece and filed this star-studded report. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> I'm here at the 43rd Annual American Music Awards. This is the red carpet. I'm gonna find as many people as I can to talk to. Kaylee, hi. Say hi, Kylie. Those are some cute police officers. <laughs> Arrest me, officer. Thank you. That's right. Hey, girl. It's Lonnie. Lonnie Love, girl from The Real. How are you? Thank you, love you back. Hey, tall basketball player. What's up, girl? I really want some sweet potato casserole, but oh. I can't be thankful for that because it's not Thanksgiving yet. Okay. Well, I'm well, thankful for my handsome husband. That's right. Oh, I'm ah. Thankful for my son, my cat, and to be done with season six. Love you. I mean, so many things. We got a roof. We got we got air to breathe. That's, That's it. That's my dad and me. Oh, we love you, Tyrese. Okay? I love you. You know, I'm thankful for carbs. Thankful for music. We're, we're, and that's what we're thankful for at 
with the real is your good music, so you keep making it, okay? Yeah. Even though I'm a black girl, I listen to something <laughs> real. We love you. I love you. I love you. I'm just thankful to be alive. I have a 10 second pitch. I have this fashion wand that I'm doing. Whoa. And it's like, you know, I like use it on the red carpet. I mean, you got 20 bucks on you, maybe you can invest. I tell you, I wouldn't give up your day job. Oh, he read me. <laughs> We're gonna give her the security fashion wand to see how hot she is. Oh my goodness, you're burning up. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, she's setting it off. Oh. The security though here is sexy, look. <laughs> Look at them, they're hot people. We're adding a, a, a sound effect. Yes, yeah. this is television. Yes, they're hot, little big town. Ooh, how are you? Good, how are you? Now, what was your second choice? <laughs> we just need you to do one little line of our okay. theme song for us. We just need you to say it, you know? I might know what? it. Let's see. You, you do? Oh, oh. I, oh, I watch you, girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is our time. This is our time. That's right, baby. All right. Don't waste another minute of it. Starting right now. Right, right now. Right now. Right now. Rebecca Black, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, grab a hold sing? of it. No, don't. Please okay, don't. Okay, I'll start again. This is our time. This is a wrap for the 43rd Annual American Music Awards. <laughs>